The moon is considered a very delightful object for the majority of people due to its radiance, tranquility, and its association with beauty and clarity. It also offers numerous benefits to humans, such as providing soft illumination at night and being involved in various natural phenomena. However, apart from these beautiful aspects, one wonders if there could be another, more sinister side to the moon. Could the moon potentially be destructive one day? Let's discuss some hypotheses, starting with the idea of a collision. One of the peculiar hypotheses suggests that the moon is a part of Earth itself or, in other words, the moon was once a part of our planet. According to this hypothesis, billions of years ago, a massive celestial body collided with Earth causing a significant portion to break away. These fragmented, molten rocks eventually came together and formed the moon as we know it today. While this is merely a speculative theory without any concrete evidence, it raises an intriguing question. What would happen if the moon returned to its original state? Bring some snacks and enjoy the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel to support its continuation. Now, let's talk Talk about what would happen if the moon collided with Earth. It would cause two extremely complex problems. The first problem can be described as an indirect issue, revolving around the disappearance of the moon from its position. Imagine waking up in the morning and suddenly discovering that the moon has vanished from the sky. This would lead to a series of indirect events, such as the disappearance of tidal patterns in various bodies of water. Furthermore, the presence of the moon around the Earth is the primary reason for the planet's stable axis during rotation. If the moon disappeared, it would disrupt the timing of sunrise and sunset and create irregularities in the occurrence of the four seasons. The worst consequence of its disappearance would be the absence of lunar gravity's effect on Earth. The moon and Earth have a mutual gravitational pull that slightly slows down Earth's rotation. Without this gravitational influence, Earth would start rotating at a faster rate, resulting in shorter daylight hours and a reduced duration of exposure to the sun's heat. Ultimately, this would lead to a drastic drop in temperatures and a gradual extinction of life on Earth's surface. Now, imagine that everything we've discussed so far are just the indirect causes of the moon's disappearance, which can be considered relatively mild and pleasant. But what about the direct consequences of a collision? The second problem, which would be a direct consequence and in itself a disaster, arises when the moon suddenly detaches from its orbit around the Earth and heads heads directly towards it. In reality, when the moon deviates from its orbit, it won't immediately reach the Earth in the high-speed manner some might expect. It would take a considerable amount of time, possibly years, for it to reach the Earth's surface. Initially, as the moon approaches the Earth closely, large chunks of rock would start falling from its surface and heading towards the Earth. These rocky fragments would act as meteors or small asteroids directly impacting and causing destruction and explosions upon collision. As the moon gets closer to the Earth, the gravitational forces of tides would intensify exponentially. This, in turn, would lead to severe flooding and disruptions in water movements, resulting in the submergence of coastal cities. Additionally, strong winds would spread across the Earth. After the moon detaches from its orbit and covers the entire distance between it and the Earth, there will be no escape from a direct collision with the Earth's surface. Upon the first contact, there would be a massive explosion that would result in a drastic increase in temperatures, turning the Earth into a fiery mass. This would lead to the destruction of structures, buildings, and almost all forms of life. The initial impact of the moon would resemble a colossal nuclear bomb that spreads across the Earth. Furthermore, it is conceivable that the force of this collision could cause the moon itself to break apart, with its fragments scattering throughout the globe. Each fragment would cause a different set of disasters. If you find it surprising that the moon could potentially split into two parts upon collision with the Earth. Let me tell you that one hypothesis suggests that if the impact force is strong enough, it could indeed cause a portion of the Earth itself to fracture. In other words, if the Moon collides with the planet with a certain level of force, it could result in a division of a section of the Earth, completely separating and dispersing it into space. Essentially, this means that the planet would be missing a piece, and with the Earth losing a portion of itself, there would be a profound disruption in the Earth's system and mass. Consequently, the Earth would become an uninhabitable place. This scenario, of course, would only occur if the collision were powerful enough to cause a fracture in a section of the Earth. In the event that the Earth survives the initial impact without fracturing, the situation doesn't end there. It is just the beginning of a series of events triggered by the increase in temperature resulting from the collision. The first consequence would be the melting of snow and ice caps, leading to massive flooding. There would be no escaping the fate of widespread submergence, 
as the sea levels would rise significantly. Water would cover almost every area, completely altering the Earth's landscape. All green spaces and plant life would perish. Although the scenarios we discussed are speculative or simulations of the Earth's collision with the Moon, it doesn't negate the fact that there is agreement on the similarities between the potential consequences of a Moon-Earth collision and those resulting from a massive asteroid impact on Earth. Regarding asteroids, Earth has a long history of collisions with them, and it is believed that the oldest known asteroid impact on Earth occurred more than 65 million years ago, causing the extinction of numerous life forms on the planet's surface. Some researchers and scientists even attribute this impact to the extinction of dinosaurs. However, in the end, Earth managed to overcome the catastrophic events caused by such asteroids and restore life on its surface once again. This raises the question, has the Earth's struggle with asteroids truly ended? Despite Earth having survived past asteroid collisions, it remains susceptible to future impacts at any time. For example, in 2028, the asteroid 1997 XF11 will come very close to Earth. Although it is not projected to collide with Earth, Scientists have estimated that the energy of such an impact would surpass that of a nuclear bomb by millions of times. What is astonishing is that this asteroid has a diameter of about 1.4 kilometers, while the moon has a diameter of 3,400 kilometers. If a relatively small asteroid like this can cause catastrophes surpassing nuclear disasters, one can only imagine the potential consequences if the moon were to be involved. In the end, before we conclude and address people's concerns about the hypothetical scenario of the moon falling onto Earth, it is important to clarify that this is a completely far-fetched assumption. In reality, the moon is moving away from Earth and continues to do so. The only situation that could potentially make the moon fall onto Earth is a disruption in the solar system itself or a collision between the moon and a celestial body moving randomly in space. However, scientists assure us that there is no reason to worry, as these are all speculations related to a distant and highly unlikely future. Therefore, for the next 7, 8, or 9 million years, Earth remains a safe place for everyone, free from any disasters or collisions. As always, if this is your first encounter with us, please subscribe and activate the notification bell to receive our latest videos. See you in the next episode.